Something's happened to the world. It began in our homes. A stalking, creeping thing that crawled into our beds and hid behind our doors. It began with our loved ones. The violence soon took to the streets, gleeful and enthusiastic. It exhausted the rescue services, it overran the military. For a time there was only noise and confusion, but now it's all gone silent. It's not too late, the world is still out there. The pieces can fit together again. I can save it, but not without help. And so I found you, a lone child in a quiet place. I'm glad you're here with me. I know where we have to go. I remember the room. I'll take us there right now. Just follow my voice. A small act should be enough. Great, that worked. Here we are. Uh, I, I know the whole situation's a little confusing right now, but all I need you to do is push the big red button. The one right over there. That's a funny looking device. Wonder what it does. Huh. Well, let's go ahead and keep that thing. You never know. Anyway, red button. Wait. This isn't right. What's going on? Did we miss something? Oh, no, 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 no! no, no.
kiddo. Are you awake? Feeling all right? Good. Good. That didn't quite work out back there, I'm sure you noticed. So there must be something else that needs taken care of first, and we should find out what that is. Try walking around for a bit. Let's get our bearings. Worth a try, right? Someone left something behind here. Break out that gizmo of yours. Let's see if we can find it. Okay, I'll admit that it's pretty fun to swing the hammer around. Not much room for that when you're keeping trains from crapping out. Still, they could at least get someone else down here to help hold the planks. There haven't been any newspapers for a while now. And the last ones all said pretty much the same. Disaster continues! Evacuate now! That sort of thing. Plenty of gossip magazines left, though, if you want to know who was dating whom before they lost themselves. I can hear them from time to time. It used to sound like war not so long ago, when we still tried to hold them back. Now all you hear is the occasional scream and that deranged ecstatic laughter. Let them stay here, please. Let them die here.
I'm a train mechanic, not a railway worker. Someone's got to fix the bridge. Fine. Get anyone to do it. I don't know any more about bridges than the next guy. Ah, I need a hit. Ah, last of the planks now. Can't wait to get out of here. Good enough. Should hold for people on foot at least. Hmm. The experience is different every time. Unique, like the, the shards of a broken window. But they're all like dreams at first, half forgotten and hazy. Then it becomes clear and it's like they're right next to you. Isn't that strange? Anyway, let's move along. There's more to be done. Atlas Park. Lush, tranquil, secluded. They built it for the view and the symbolism. And the utility. This is the city of Chernosk, where innovation is key and even the architecture is experimental. Let's have a look around the park. I think we're going to find something here. Maintenance. I don't see any stairs. This is a fire hazard. For the record, I did say this was the city of innovation and not the city of functioning utilities.
ice cream. Get your ice cream here. Soft serve. Banana split. Trinkets to ward off the madness, anyone? They're all magic and they're all cheap. Ma'am, how about a talisman for the little one? <laughs> we Have you ever seen those photos of old abandoned playgrounds? Animal figures all faded and warped. Creepy stories to go with them. There's something about a fresh new playground, silent and still, that's worse. trust fund for Joyce when she was born. Assorted stocks and assets, but mostly shares from the Institute. Part of the annual bonus packages. It's all worthless now, unless someone goes back there. And no one is ever going back there. Riho, I'm sorry. It was my fault. I wanted Eagle View to work out for us, but I should have listened to you. Joyce asks about you every day, and I tell her you'll come as soon as you're done helping out there. She smiles, and I see you in her eyes. A gun? You bought a gun? For our safety. There's no telling who's after us or where they are now. You saw what happened. <laughs> Look, I'll leave it here. Someone shows up, you know where to find it. Him. Gotta be him with those golden glasses. He's been following us. 
I knew it. Did he see me? No, no, couldn't have. Oh God, Joyce! Where's Joyce? steel hatch. I don't know about you, but when I see a locked steel anything, I get awfully curious. Looks like we'll have to pry it open. Old man detective is sniffing around again. Shithead thinks he's still a cop, but uh, can't hurt to be safe what with the witness he dug up. Can't count on the green boys either. So, worst comes to worst. I'd cut my losses and get out through here. You have it? Keep your voice down, idiot. Yeah, I have it. What do you have? Lorazepam. Here, look. 24 doses, and it's popular already. I remember something. A long screaming sound, and an endless silence. That was before I opened my eyes, before I found you. Hey, mister, are you looking for someone? Mister? What are you doing? No, no, help, help! It wasn't my fault, it, it was him! He followed us here. Coward! Damn you, I should have known! All you ever do is run! Salma, wait, this isn't you, it's that thing, it's, it's still active, you know that. Salma, Salma, no! Do you think she wanted to do that, or did she, in the moment between breaths, simply forget that she didn't? It's still active. That's what he said. Whatever happened to everyone is still happening.
We gave Pavel and Salma some basic med kits in this house so they could start up a clinic of sorts. Said they were doctors, but not what kind exactly. Is that why someone targeted them? To sabotage us? No, doesn't explain the girl. So, what about her? Salma Anderson. Park Roster has the girl listed as her daughter, but doesn't say if Pavel was her husband. And now she's gone into thin air. An entire family, just like that. And I can't answer the most important question. Why? Pavel Kuryk, that was your name. You're dead because we failed to catch whoever is bringing guns in. You're dead because I failed. Now all I can do is look for your killer like I'm still a detective. But why you and the girl? What's going on? Was that Tanya just now? I could swear it was, and she had this huge bag. Can't be here for me. They hardly ever noticed I was even there, so... Oh no. They're going through with it. This stuff William was raving about. Do I tell someone? Arturo Montiel, 27 years old, says he knows where the guns are coming from and who killed Pavel, but won't spill a word until I guarantee his safety and comfort. I'll see what I can do. Poor bastard's been sleeping under a tree.
she fell from here. But what was she doing here in the first place? The hole is clearly visible. She wouldn't be playing so close to it. Was she pushed? Somebody said they heard several screams. But who would do such a thing? Drugs and weapons. Pills, needles, powders, uppers, downers, sheaves and switchblades. We've been confiscating this stuff for a long time now. But more of it keeps finding its way in. I can't help but wonder if there's a central supplier. Four founders. Five, actually, but one of them only left their shoes. They built Chernos to be a Carthage of industry and progress, and invited people from all over the world to come join them. Then they had a falling out, and the rest is muddled history. People are disappearing, too many to ignore, too quietly to have left. The soldiers say they haven't seen anything, but what if it's connected to the deaths? Darwaza, Pavel, the girl. Everything's coming apart and there's something I'm not seeing. The team we sent down into the culverts report they have found a number of machines and electronic devices that could be salvaged along with spools of copper wire and extra fuses. Perhaps we can finally boost the radio signal and reach someone.
pay this Arturo guy any mind. Just another shit stain with nothing to trade. Now Andropov's giving him his own tent because he found something to trade with? Me? Says he knows where the guns came from, but does he? Oh, you're in trouble, kid. September 12th. I'm stuck. Andropov is expecting me to talk, and I keep stalling him. He's been giving me food, good food, and as soon as he has my testimony, that stops. And what about the trinket salesman? Does he know? Oh god, what do I do? There's a story about a man who sold his mouth so he could afford to eat. A victim complex is a warm and comfortable paralytic. a lot of enemies here, people who hated you. Maybe I did too, but now I'm just sorry it had to end this way. It was one of mine who shot you, I don't doubt it. So I'm sorry, Sergeant, for that, if nothing else. I feel like I'm on the verge of understanding, but that might just be wishful thinking. I should take stock of the evidence. So much death. Dar was our shot by a civilian, I'm sure of it. Had nothing to do with Pavel, but the guns are the exact same model. A military model. But why supply the civilians? Unless that was never the intention. Then who could trade for them? Tells me I'm important for the relations here between them and my people. My people. Drafted most of my officers too. Sold them some story about restoring order. I really thought we had something here. It's a powerful compulsion, the why. These are the questions that drove Andropov on. Even more so than the who. Why would someone want to hurt us? Why these people? Why now? Why am I the only one who cares? With absolute certainty it was him. We'd know that voice anywhere. Why the girl? Can't have been intentional, no motive. Salma's girl. Rio's girl. Salma here? And Rio? Confusing. 
No sign of the effects. Must have a plan. There was music here once. They'd clear this space for dancing and build a makeshift stage for the band. Guitars, flutes, drums. Now there's a single fading violin. If we do everything right, do you think the music might come back? I always wondered, when there are few humans left, does an individual life become precious, or is it just one more on the pile? 